Hello guys and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we hung out with Natsuki. Some weird stuff happened, but that's probably fine. We also shared poems, which went pretty normally, except for maybe Monica's poem, which was a bit weird, but... Eh, I'm sure it's all fine. Anyways, it's time for Yuri and Natsuki to get into an argument. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows fur furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have some... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmph. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And MC did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Eh. And MC liked my poem too, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Ooh. You... You just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that MC appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as, soon as MC started chewing up. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This, this doesn't, doesn't involve you. you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch. Edgy? I'm sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing cute about you is how hard you try. Well, be, caref be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let MC hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll head, he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, ah! Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing here. MC! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Um... Hey, MC. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own members, my, my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if, it, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Yuri runs out of the classroom. Or Natsuki. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it! 
I, I believe you. I've no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. MC, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants, wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with MC. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate... It's time for the poem game. Uh, so we're still going down Natsuki's route. Let's try... Pout. Pink. Summer. Anger. Uh, parfait. Poof. Cute. Doki Doki. Joy. Oh, that was a Yuri word somehow. Uh, sweet. Um. Family? Yeah. Email. Nightgown. Anime. Smile, funny, kitty, kawaii, uh, charm, and play. That seems like a pretty good Natsuki poem. We're at the start of a new chapter, and as with previous chapters, there's something new in the files. It's called I I I I I I I repeating dot txt. Here's what it says. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Anyways, back to the normal game. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Ah, damn it! Okay, there's a really uh, funny glitch here, where Yuri glitches out completely, and her entire sprite is missing, except for, like, her right side. Uh, I'll go ahead and show footage of that on screen. Welcome back, MC! Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Uh, um... Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, MC, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. 
I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Ah, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't I'm guessing you haven't seen her either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, um Natsuki about yesterday. I just want to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? B but... I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Okay, rats. That means that we also missed out on another jump scare. We're just missing out on a lot of glitches today, where after Natsuki is all like, "Oh, I don't remember anything at all," she'll just glitch out and get like weird eyes and a weird mouth and start just spouting nonsense. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> What took you so long, anyway? Ah, well my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was prac- or I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm- Still not really good at good yet. That's interesting. In Act one, Monica said that she had just started. Now she says she's been practicing for a while. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah, uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. <laughs> That's. Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, MC. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see... I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that in, in that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. MC Um since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after that book you gave me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine! She's reading over there, see? Don't think and think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. What's that story about, anyway? Well... Mm. So, during this day, we are not allowed to hang out with Natsuki, even though we got a pretty much a perfect poem for her. We are forced to hang out with Yuri this time. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. It's, there's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. 
Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a bit of a spoiler. But anyways, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? That's also a really good joke. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Ah, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, MC? Can you read my mind? No, that's not it. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just this kind of story. It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible pe people and we're all worthless anyway, then suddenly... I'm rambling again, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I th let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact... In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quick I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just that something... It's, it's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S Sorry! I was just- I was just bathing in the feeling of your body heat. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I- I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean- <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I relate to Yuri a lot in that sense, where I just sort of apologize way too much. I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then I hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I- I suppose so. I, I relate to Yuri in a, in a lot of ways, mostly because she's very antisocial, and I'm very antisocial, and it's not like I dislike being around people or anything, it's just that I never really had the courage to talk to people. So yeah, I do kind of relate to Yuri in a few ways. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I, in, instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ugh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here! Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ugh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled to even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh? To turn the page? Uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. 
We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses the things she says and all that. Ah, uh, uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts a hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I... I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright. Don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was, what on earth was that about? MC? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, can't see that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. <laughs> don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Last time you said that about someone, it was when Natsuki's face got all melty and weird. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we share, start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd start without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Now, it's time for poem sharing, and we're going to go ahead and share our poetry with everyone in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!